Northern Wisconsin is full of recreational opportunities, but all of those hikes or skis are the result of careful planning. An area park is a popular attraction through all four seasons, but they're hoping to expand those opportunities. Newswatch 12's Nick Van Zyl was in Rib Mountain today and has more, Nick. Thanks, Dan and Jessica. In 1923, the Wasa Kiwanis Club bought 120 acres of land on the top of Rib Mountain. The club recognized the hill's recreation opportunities and donated the land to what is now known as Rib Mountain State Park. Since then, the DNR has been entrusted to keep the park open for public recreation. A number of, of changes took place with this with this new master plan. It's, it's pretty exciting. Last week, the DNR approved a new plan for Rib Mountain. It basically guides the use of that property. So it guides um, what can happen as far as recreational uses, habitat management, um, things like that. Every 15 to 20 years, the DNR develops a new master plan with input from the public and stakeholder groups. For example, at Rib Mountains, not just parks personnel, but uh, forestry management and wildlife management um, get together and are all make decisions on the future use of the park for the next at least 15 years. Those plans are not permanent nor guaranteed. It's used as a blueprint for the park. We've been talking with Seawalk, the Central Wisconsin Outdoor Cycling Coalition, um, Greater Wausau Prosperity Partnership, of course Granite Peak's been involved, um, you know, the Village of Red Mountain, um, the county. There are multiple opportunities being considered. The new plan authorizes 12 to 20 mountain bike, or 12 to 20 miles of mountain biking trails here at the park. A five to seven mile multi-use trail that would go all the way around the base of the mountain. It's expanded um, downhill skiing opportunities at, at the park, as well as a number of other things, including a potential expansion of a nature center, um, a potential for um, some rustic camping at the park and connections to Nine Mile County Forest. The DNR and Park say they couldn't make all the changes without the support of the community. They've already been a huge part of it, yeah, and I think they'll continue to be. The Park and Granite Peak Ski Resort both say that they're ready for people to come see the fall colors in the next few weekends.